Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's General Tariel, your coach at Charlotte Charizards. I bring you the APA Season 3 Week 18 Builder versus Coach Crimson Seabad or Seed Daddy and the Detroit Steel Wings. <laughs> Awkward pause right there. <laughs> Coming into Week 8, we did unfortunately get a loss last week against Coach A-Drive and the St. Louis Rampardos, but it was a great match nonetheless. Make sure to check that out if you haven't. And um, I'm trying to pick up a win, you know. I'm tired of these losses. That's three in a row, trying to kill that streak. Um, don't want it to represent my team at all. So um, definitely going to try our best versus Crimson this week. And um, I definitely think I have the team that can do very well versus his sand. So as you see on the screen, the matchup does consist of, or his roster consists of, Latios, Galvantula, Arcanine, Golbat, Roserade, Exedril, Hitmonlee, Gyarados, Mega Tyranitar, Cloyster, and Aromatisse. And now, um, his two Z-mons being Latios and Gyarados, which is very scary offensively. But um, besides just the scary Z offensive mons, um, just to look at, his offense is kind of overwhelming between um, having, like, just sand, first of all, with Exedril is crazy. Even though he doesn't have Smoother Arc, with, like, um, whether it be Tyranitar or um, Hip Out on, Mega Tyranitar still provides sand, so Exedril and sand is still pretty scary. Um, he also has webs to go with that speed with Galvantula, which is scary. And um, so webs and sand, that's amazing speed control. And then he um, also has, you know, I guess I guess you can say Thunder Wave options in Galvantula. But he even has Unburden option in Hitmonlee. So he's got a lot of speed options. And even like Tailwind and Latios and Golbat. So it's actually pretty scary for that. Um, he's got decent hazards. His only Stealth Rockers are Exedril and Mega Tyranitar. But he does have Dual Spikes and um, Cloyster and Rose Raid, which is um, very beneficial. Excuse me. And um, for Z-Mons, Latios and Gyarados, those are absolutely terrifying. Um, Gyarados is kind of... An underrated mod in the format just because offensive waters are underrated already uh, bulky waters are the better waters I can't agree on that but um mods like Gyarados are just so underrated um Latios is absolutely terrifying with um devastating Drake or Psyche MZ if um it brings a Z move this week I'm definitely expecting like Psyche MZ or um, Electri MZ in order to um hit both my Togekiss and my Toxapex which would be even though Toxapex ain't a wall for Latios um still benefits him for the most of my team um for sure and um as for his bulk um he brought aromatisse to every game so i can kind of expect that to come and um just wish pass and other things to be a little annoying but um arcanine is pretty good bulk but he doesn't get full morning sun in his own sand which is important um rose raids decent but have bulk i suppose and golbat's just fat golbat is just fat so um Going into this team build, I'm really predicting um, Latios, Galvantula, um, Golbat, Mega Tyranitar, Exadrill, and Gyarados. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Um, I believe I said six, whatever. <laughs> Basically, Latios is just a monster for my team anyways, because it can run Side Shock in order to hit the Tox Specs as well as the Solfest Electros. Um, Galvantula's coverage versus my team is ridiculous. It blows back... Um, sorry, it blows back Togekiss, it blows back Tox Specs. Bug Buzz is still going to be doing a decent amount to a Solfest Electros. Like, I don't really have switches to that thing. Um, Golbat's just absolutely fat. It comes in on... Um, Cobalion and um, Lando pretty well. Um, it can also bring Haze in order to at least live one hit for my Mega Charizard X after plus one and get off of Haze. So I can't just set up and try and win, even though he does have a nice sand counter for um, D Dance Mega Charizard X and whatnot. And that is the reason between behind Exedrill and Mega Tyranitar is um, Exedrill and Sand counters a lot of my Scarfers. It um, most importantly stops the D Dance um, Mega Charizard X from sweeping his team. Um, which is definitely possible, but it's kind of hard to pull off versus his team purely because of that. Um, and uh, Sand just has a good matchup versus me once again because Toxpex gets hurt. Um, Togekiss gets destroyed by it too, so his offense pairs up very well versus my main defensive cores, which I'm seeing is a you know a continuous trend versus the teams I face, which I really don't like. So I definitely need to. I can't. I don't know if I'm gonna make changes at this point, but like, damn. <laughs> um, 
Gyarados. Gyarados is a monster. Um, Jock pointed out to me that D-Dance plus Taunt absolutely just um, sets up on Toxic Specs for free, and it can just 6 me. So I definitely had to work around that because that was really scary, but I know defensive or somewhat defensive Gyarados is also a possibility with Intimidate instead of Moxie in order to come in on things like Obalion, Lando T, and Charizard X, if I don't have the Thunder Punch at least. So those are the reasons I'm really worried about those mods. Um, other things that could possibly come, um, Arcanine is a decent switch in. It really only walls Cabalion when it comes to physical um, in the end, but um, offensive Arcanine is definitely possible. Um, you know, with Wild Charge and stuff like that, I can see that. Um, Aromatisse, I can once again see him bring, just because he's brought it plenty of times before. Um, also a decent check to Greninja, it might force me to run Grunk Shot, he might be thinking that, but um, still putting some work. Rose Raid could come for Dual Spikes, since, um, I, but at the same time, I'm not really expecting it. Can't really get Toxic Spikes first me with Toxic Spikes in the back. And I do have reliable defoggers, so I don't don't really see that too much. But um, anyways, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into my team build versus his team, and that will be um, kicking it off with Cobalion with a um, important name change. Um, I kind of changed Cobalion's identity as a whole, so I really felt like Cobalion was completely unlucky. In between here and P4G next gen, it has done shit. <laughs> Pardon my French, I've took three courses of it, so I know it pretty fluently, but Cobalion has been shit. Um, it just hasn't really done anything. Um, to be fair, I don't think I'm using it to the best of my capabilities, but um, hopefully that will turn around this week because it has an amazing matchup for Crimson. Um, I'm definitely hoping it can happen. I'm also giving it the important nickname, Genera Tahi. For no one that knows, um, there is two L's in my name. I'm not taking any more L's. I have three L's now. I'm not taking any more L's for the rest of the season. If there's an important mon for me in this game, I'm going to name it Genera Tahi. Or Genera Tahi. So whether that's Cobalion or another Pokemon, I'm going to name it that. I almost brought this entire team named that. But um, Kyle was genting for me. He's like, dude, don't make your entire team that. <laughs> Like, it's like fine. So, um, but Cavalian's gonna have the name for on um, this battle, and he's definitely gonna carry us to our W that we want, and no more L's, no more L's. Just for anyone that doesn't know, in my like first season of APA Showdown, um, I brought that. It was a little cringe at first, but then it was just a nice meme that caught on. So, but we have a Sword Stance set here with Rocky MZ, Stone Edge, Close Combat, Iron Heads, all we need versus his team, um, with 244 attack investment. I mean, it's not max, but um, at plus one, which is plus two after our, an Arc 9 Intimidate, um, we do still knock it out, whether it's max defense with a plus one um, Rocky MZ, which is um, very important for us, as well as we can um, make sure we knock out Gyarados um, with Rocky MZ, I believe, in neutral. Um, and um, basically, just destroys his team. Uh, his Another thing about Crimson's team is that it's got decent speed, but it kind of relies on like those webs and stuff, because his speed, his high speed is only 110 Eladios. Um, Galvantula is technically a, um, can be a revenge. It comes down to his speed tie versus Cabalion, but Latios is his main revenge mon, apart from Scarfers, anything behind webs, or Sand Exedrill. And Sand Exedrill I can kind of deal with, so I'm going to get to that later on. But Cabalion sets up an ST versus a decent amount of his team and just can absolutely blow anything back. Either of his possible Intimidate Mons, Gyarados and Arcanine, die to a plus one Rock EMZ. Um, even if, and if I get Chip on the Gyarados, it even dies to a plus one Stone Edge. Um, especially after Rocks, it will die. So, um, Cabalion is definitely going to put in this work, the work this week, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> because I want this Pokemon to do something. Um, I had high expectations going for it, um, drafting it twice in two leagues. So, um, hopefully you can start doing something this week. Next up is my Lando T. Um, very interesting set. As you can see, i got a little bit of everything on here. Um, we're bringing Boomy this week. Um, we got the Ipaba Berry with Earthquake, U-Turn, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge. Now, with the defense investment I have after Stealth Rock's Exedrill at plus one will, um, with Iron Head, if it is Life Orb Jolly, will knock us into our Eye Papa Berry and we will get it back and we will for sure knock it out with Earthquake. 68 with um, attack investment gives me a for sure um, two shot with Stone Edge on Golbat after Stealth Rocks. Um, and then the rest in speed, just make sure I outspeed um, Max Speed Exedrill in case I do just need to. Um, you know, counter him outside of sand because Mega Tyranitar doesn't get him that too many sand turns. And then if I can get rid of Mega Tyranitar pretty well, which my team kind of does, um, then um, it would just be less for me to worry about. 
So Land of T is definitely just being more of a defensive check, um, specifically for the um, Max Drill, but I can't stop Electric Spam from Galvantula, even though I'm really expecting him to power ice on that thing. Um, also gives me a counter to him only in case he decides to bring that, and it'd be like the Unburden set. I get Intimidates on Gyarados if it is DD, so I can at least check around that. Get him Intimidates off on Cloisters, things like that, so. Um, Lando's definitely going to be important this week. It's Lando normally has good matchups versus his Sand team, so um, it was definitely in my best interest to bring it this week. Being an important Stealth Rock setter as well as a U-turn momentum Pokemon has coverage for his entire team and um, can definitely um, help us out this week, as it always does being the captain. Next up is Greninja or Crazy Frog bringing the Expert Belt. I have Low Kick, Hinnabar Electric, Hydro Pump, and Ice Beam. Um, now this is kind of a mistake on my part, but um, Life Orb originally always two-shotted Aromatisse with this Hydro Pump investment, but I changed it to Expert Belt, so I wouldn't be two-shotting Aromatisse unless it came out on Stealth Rocks and it didn't have leftovers. Excuse me, which is quite unlikely, so um, that wasn't going to happen. Um, Hidden Power Electric, because I really, really cannot afford Gyarados setting up versus me, because it's just really scary for my team. Green Ninja with Low Kick uh, mainly gets me a for sure KO on the Mega Tyranitar, because if you don't know, in the same Mega Tyranitar, we'll be getting a boost in Spadef, so Hydro Pump will be doing less than Low Kick. It's just really helpful versus his team. Um, Hidden Power Electric would also help me versus the Cloister. Um, Hydro Pump just does so much work versus his team. Um, Ice Beam also allows me to hit the Rose Raid as well as get his two shot on Golbat. Plus it does a um, damage to Latio still, even though it does less than Dark Pulse because I don't get the stab. Um, it still does a good amount of damage, so Ice Beam just gave me a lot more coverage versus more of his team than Dark Pulse did. So Greninja can hopefully put in a um, decent amount of work. Um, he doesn't really have too many things that can revenge it, mainly just Scarf and Exedrill again and Webs. Like he's just got good speed control that I have to keep pointing it out. So he's definitely going to bring with, uh, like some form of um, speed control. Sand so, Exedrill is definitely coming, it just depends whether or not he's going to have a Scarfer or if he's going to have Webs or not, so he could bring both. And um, next up we do have Toxapex. Um, Toxapex was going to be doing too, too much this match, but I just needed it. Um, just as a last resort case, which is mainly why I bring it, because I can't just bring full offense an entire week. Um, we have a defensive talk specs here with Shuckleberry, um, with the regenerator ability. Of course, Haze, Scald, Recover, and Icy Wind. Um, pretty interesting set. Haze, of course, to stop any setup on the Gyarados. Scald um, is pretty free versus his team. Get a few Scald burns, hopefully, wear things down, um, such as, like, the Golbat. Um, Recover, of course, for longevity, and Icy Wind's pretty important. Um, in case it is the Taunt DD Gyarados, I want to make sure I can Icy Wind spam it, so it never gets the speed boost versus me. The plus one speed, so it's much easier for my team to revenge in Stone Age Cabalion, um, Hidden Power Electric Ninja, um, etc, etc, so... It's just so much easier for my team to deal with it at that point, and Icy Wind is still kind of free versus this team. I might be able to get an outspeed with another Pokemon later on. So um, that's the reasoning behind that. Uh, Toxapex is really here just to take on um, Arcanine. It can switch into Golbat decently well. I'm not really going to beat Golbat 1v1 though, however, um, even with Skull Burn and, and stuff like that. Um, I can live a hit from Exodrill with Earthquake. I do live a plus 2 Earthquake, I believe, with my Shuckaberry um, from full, not after Stealth Rocks. And then um, Wall Gyarados completely, and I come in the Mega Tyranitar pretty freely and hopefully get a Skull Burn. Um, and I take on Cloyster and get off the Haze for just a second in case he brings Shell Smash, which I'm not kind of ex fully expecting this week, but it's a possibility. So Toxpex does very well for his physical, po physical Pokemon, so um, that's why I had to like squeeze it in this week. Next up, what are we even surprised? Assault Vest, Electros here, Yunagi. Um, bringing a physical one this week, um, similar to last week. Drain Punch, Wild Charge, U-Turn, Fire Punch. Very good matchup versus his team. Now, I do have to put some defense investment in this Electros to make sure I can still counter um, Exedrill. Um, with plus two Rock Slide, we do live after Stealth Rocks with the investment I have, and we can get, a, get off a Drain Punch or a Fire Punch versus him. Um, Wild Charge is a decent amount versus his team. It's also helpful because Gyarados does have nice Spadef Bulk, so hitting on the physical side will be um, pretty important. Um, U-Turn Momentum is nice for his team, stuff like that. Basically, I was forced to bring a Soul Vest, even though Lottie can still put in worse versus, with um, Psyshock versus this thing. I needed a Soul Vest purely for the Galvantula because that thing tears me apart. It's actually ridiculous. So, um, hopefully we can deal with it a little bit better and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's more so just for the Galvantula. It doesn't really do too much for the rest of this team. It can also take on Rose Raid a little bit decently well because my team kind of lacks versus that. Um, that is the reason for me having Fire Punch is to hit both Galvantula and Rose Raid. 
So hopefully Electros can do as much as we needed to, as well as being a little momentum Pokemon, um, and eat a hit from Exedrill if we needed to, considering if he's not Mold Breaker, um, and he is the Sand Rush, then he has to hit me, um, most likely with Rock Slide. And as we get to the last Pokemon, which is Togekiss, um, we're bringing in a Defog Togekiss with Roost, or Sphere, Air Slash, and we're carrying the Babiri Berry. Now the reasoning behind this Togekiss is purely I needed Defog. Um, that's the only reason. I wanted Stealth Rocks and I needed Defog at the same time, so I kind of forced Togekiss on here and put Stealth Rocks on Lando when I originally had Defog. So um, Togekiss is purely here for Defog because webs plus the potential hazards he could bring could really screw me over if I'm not careful. So um, Togekiss is definitely an important Pokemon for this match. Um, Basically, the Aura Sphere with the investment I have just allows me to for sure two-shot Mega Tyranitar if he is max HP investment, and um, the Babiri Berry with the HP I have allows me to live an Iron Head from Exedrill after Stealth Rock, so I can at least get the Aura Sphere chip on it if needed, but if Exedrill gets up to plus two or plus one after an Intimidate from my Lando, then um, I'm not living in a Babiri Berry unless he, with the Babiri Berry, unless he didn't get rocks up, which is important. So. So it's kind of last resort, you know, just important for defog and whatnot. Not going to really be too much of an important Pokemon this match. Um, I should have possibly put more Spideff into it so I could take on Latios better because that is what's going to have to do with the HP I gave it. It's via last second counter as well as a decent counter to Latios. So. But that will basically do it for the team. I can definitely see it um, doing work versus Crimson Sand team. And um, hopefully we can pick up a win this week and stop losing because I ain't about it. I'm tired of it. Um... I'm definitely seeing Cabali I'm putting in work, Greninja hopefully can put in work like usual, and hopefully my defensive core in the back can kind of work together, um, as well as the Lando T, Lando can just both offensive and defensive, so that's um, going to be very beneficial for my team. So that'll be it for the Team Bow Gods, uh, make sure to check out the battle that will be going up tomorrow, and that'll be it for me today, make sure to sub, like, share, deuces.